Okay, YouTube. Honestly, I told you to tune in to day eight because I don't want to talk about day eight. I was just trolling you in the last one. I really didn't enjoy this one very much. I know that there were some people who thought of really cool and elegant solutions. I just recommend finding someone else to explain to you how they got that. But for me, it was just kind of painful. The first part's easy, but uh, I didn't really like the rest. I'll just show you some cool macros that I did, and then we'll be done, okay? Here's some cool examples of macros. There's a, there is a macro for VEC, but I don't think there's one for set. So I just made one for hash set. What this does is it looks for expressions that are separated by one or more commas and then optionally a last comma. And what you can do is inside of here, you return a new scope from here. You make some new S, some set for each of the things inside of these expressions. You insert them. That's what this little guy does. It's kind of like a for loop, but expand it out. And then you return the set. So when we do something like this, set this and this, you're all done. The cool thing is I was using these segments all over the place. I got tired of writing segments. So I made myself a little mag <coughs> macro for segment sets. Seg set basically looks for the same kind of stuff. This identifier is almost exactly the same here, except it calls set and it prepends segments in front of all of them. So for example, I can write nifty little short segments right here. And that'll tell you what you need to know. If you're interested in how to actually solve this problem, if you're interested in how to actually solve this problem, just go watch the Primogen's video. I'll link it in the description. He did a better job explaining it. And let's go. Let's go do day nine. See everybody. Bye.